Hey guys, this is the Don with Overlanding Anglers and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are shooting Exploring Oklahoma episode four and we are in Hocha Town, Oklahoma, which is just north of Broken Bow and right next to Beaver's Bend State Park and the Washita National Forest. The big story in Hocha Town and Broken Bow area are trails. There are just miles and miles of amazing trailheads and that's what we're gonna go check out today. We are actually right across the street from Hocha Town Distillery I hear they have some pretty good whiskey. We may have to check that out later too. But first, let's hit the trails. Let's go. Modern day Hochatown's economy is based on tourism around Beaver's Bend State Park and the Washita National Forest. But this isn't the original Hochatown. The original Hochatown was founded in the 1880s by 12 families who moved into the area. Like nearby Broken Bow, the town grew around lumber production, gaining its post office in 1894 and became a bustling town by 1900. However, in the 1920s, the lumber supply started falling, and so did the town's economy. To take the place of lumber, moonshiners moved into the area, but that didn't last long, and in 1963, the post office closed, and in 1966, the last family left. The cemetery and church were moved, and the town was flooded. Now, we've arrived at this trailhead, and we know these trails can get pretty rocky, and I know just the place to stop and air down our tires. Now that we're aired down, let's head to a trail I've had my eye on since the last time we were down here. All right, guys, we are all aired down and we are about to tackle what I call the climb. So here it is. The Washita National Forest was established in 1907, which makes it the oldest national forest in the Southern United States. It was initially named the Arkansas National Forest, but the name was officially changed in 1926. Within its boundaries lies 1.7 million acres of forest and the Washita Mountains. Now that is bigger than the entire state of Rhode Island. It was explored by the Europeans in the 1540s, first by the Spaniards, then the French. In fact, Washita is the French spelling of the Native American Washita, which means good hunting grounds. The forest offers hiking, fishing, mountain biking, kayaking, and has even had many legendary Sasquatch sightings. For the overlander, it offers 100 miles of trails, making it one of the best off-road playgrounds in the United States. We sure enjoyed exploring this network of trails just north of Hochatown. We were truly overwhelmed by the sheer number of trails to explore. But now that we're done here, let's head over to Beaver's Bend State Park and explore some more. Beaver's Bend State Park was established in 1937 as an expansion of the National Park Service. It was initially an activity area for the workers of the WPA. In 1958, creation of the lake was authorized by the Flood Control Act and the Army Corps of Engineers set to work damming the Mountain Fork River, which created Broken Bow Lake and flooded the original Hocha Town. The river slightly changed course and it still flows through the lake. There are so many activities here, including camping, excellent fishing, including for trout, and hiking, just to name a few. Today, we're taking the family to Beaver's Bend Depot and Stables for pony rides and train rides through the woods. This place is perfect for young kids. Check it out. I honestly have to say that this train ride was better than expected, and we got fairly close to some of the local wildlife. We saw so many white-tailed deer right up next to the train, and even an armadillo. Unfortunately though, no Bigfoot. Now unfortunately, we have to head back to the cabin to pack up and head home. But honestly, this is one of the only places that I truly wish we never had to leave. 
All right, guys, thanks for joining us. And that's going to do it for the fourth episode of Exploring Oklahoma, the Hochitown and Broken Bow Exploration. Uh, as you guys can see, there's a ton to do down here. Even if you don't like hitting trails, there's camping, there's these beautiful cabins, there's the lake. There's so many things that you can do and so much fun to be had. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you guys do come down here, please take some pictures or videos, send them to us because we'd love to see your adventures as well. And quick shout out, big shout out to Matt down at Southern Style Off-Road for this sweet t-shirt. Uh, but anyway, until next time guys, have a great week. Bye.